What's up, everybody? Uh, it's me, Leo Lopez. I'm back at it again on the YouTube shenanigans. Um, I just got done eating, so I kind of still have stuff in my teeth. I should have brushed them before I started talking. So, to start off with, you know, uh, I am on my first week on tea. Technically, it'll be tomorrow, but I wasn't going to have any time tomorrow to record my video. So, that's what I'm doing here right now. Um, uh, I want to thank everybody who's been there for me and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I got a, quite a few messages from people, especially people that I never expected would message me and, you know, congratulate me or be happy for me and just letting them, letting me know. Uh, that was nice having, honestly. Uh, there's certain people that I wish would have been here for me. Uh, physically and unfortunately they can't be here but that happens I know that in here the, they'll always be there for me <laughs> um, yeah so <clears throat> I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a couple things that I've noticed have changed whether if, like it's physical or mentally uh, it hasn't been many changes that most of you are gonna like automatically notice but there's a few that i notice myself and like i'm happy about but i'm not you know it's expected but what else can i ask for you know um yeah so to start off with um uh, one of my first changes that i noticed was sweating Holy cow. Well, you know what? Let's see that one for a second. Energy. So, like I explained on the other video, that first day that I got my shot, I felt like I wanted to do everything in the world. Um, freaking. I just feel like, in a way, anxious, if that's the way to explain it. I just want to jump off the walls. I want to do something. In the mornings when I wake up, it seems like I don't really need coffee anymore. I am obsessed with coffee, okay? I'll go here in Idaho Falls. I'll go to Java. I'll go to Starbucks. I'll go to the villa. I'll go to any place that has coffee and I'll get me some motherfucking coffee. Except for McDonald's. That shit fucking sucks. I'm sorry, McDonald's. I don't mean to hate on you. I don't know if it's the one that I go to that I have bad luck, but you guys suck. <coughs> um, or you, you, you need to work on some things. Because I love McDonald's. Don't get me wrong. It's just the coffee. Anyways. I usually wake up in the morning, make my coffee or buy my coffee. And I go on with my day and it gives me more energy. It makes me happier. It doesn't make me want to blow up on people. <coughs> but uh, this testosterone just, it wakes me up in the morning when I have to wake up. And it gets me going with my day. <coughs> Which I love. You know, nothing better than to have something push you throughout the day. Especially on Mondays, you know. Even though those are my days off. It's nice having something just push me to get going. <clears throat> but yeah uh energy i would talk about my sex drive but don't have any i guess i don't have someone to experience that with i have not been down that road in a long time so but yeah uh eventually if i ever get down that road i'll make sure to explain it to you guys because i'm sure that's one of your guys's questions uh i'm sorry i can't answer it but back to the sweating um I, i've always worn an undershirt under my shirts like if it looks good you know if you can't see it type of stuff and for example the other day i went to church and I felt like I had to have my arms like this, hugging my uncle, hugging my cousin the whole time. Because I felt like there was a waterfall in there. I know it sounds gross, and I'm very, very sorry about that. But that's just the truth, you know. I don't know how to control it. Um, yeah, I was at work on Friday at the state office building. And I'm always on the move, you know. 
and I just noticed for one I really didn't get on the elevator I was constantly going on the stairs I was back and forth I didn't want to sit down I was sweating so much I was so thirsty all I wanted was water and I was like holy cow it's been a while since it's felt like this but yeah it's a good feeling you know especially for like Monday for example I went to the indoor and I played some soccer and I just you know all over the place which I usually am but I'm not because I tend to just play forward but this time, I was defending a little more than I usually do. Uh, and I didn't get tired. The only reason I stopped playing is because I hurt my knee. And I'm trying, I'm trying to take it pretty easy right now. Uh, change of voice? Nah, I don't see a difference. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't see a difference yet. I do feel like my throat, it feels different. I'm, and it's definitely not that I'm getting sick because I was already sick before. And I know what that feels like. It's just an awkward feeling, and it's kind of hard to explain, but I know that it's changing some way, somehow, because it's different. You know, it's something I've never felt before. I can't explain that to you, but I'm sure that once, if you ever take testosterone, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about, and you're going to be having trouble explaining it as well. <coughs> um, Facial-wise, I'm greasier. It's disgusting. Uh, I've been breaking out. That's gross too, but I try to like maintain myself, you know, wash my face and keep up with my hygiene. I shower every day, so yeah. I make sure I put some lotion on here, moisturizer and shit, make myself look pretty. Um, what else? Uh, I feel like my arms like you can see a difference you know a little bit um i don't i don't really want to flex but like i don't know before you couldn't really i don't know maybe not but this is what they look like now just like so you guys can have a visual and then we'll wait till one month to see um what they look like good thing i took this off it's getting hot in here it was kind of chilly earlier because i had my window open but i closed it up now that I got cold and then I got hot. <clears throat> um, what else? Mm, I haven't gotten a haircut in a while, so please don't judge me. I got my appointment on Friday. Um, yeah. Oh, emotion wise, I feel like I get grumpy easily. I mean, I already had some grumpy when I was in like. Okay, I don't want to talk about my past, but the point is, I kind of feel grumpy, but I don't. Like, I feel anxious, and, like, if I don't get it my way, I'm, like, gonna explode. But I kind of had that already. Um, I guess I just tend to notice it a little bit more now. What else? Uh, that's basically it. Um, facial hair, I haven't noticed anything different. I mean, before, I already had a freaking hairy face. Um... Like, I had little whiskers down here. But, I mean, if you guys want, I'll show you guys right now. I don't know. That's, like, my upper lip. Don't mind the acne. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's been a week so far. Uh, anything crazy that's happened? Honestly, there hasn't been anything. I'm still going to college. I still have all my jobs. Um, I moved my room around right where you guys are at right now where I have my camera is where my bed was before and now it's on this side <laughs> but it's because I had a lot of energy in me inside to do something um first open play that I did was on Monday for soccer I'm gonna go tonight as well and then what else yeah that's basically it um i'm just gonna remind you guys like again thank you for the support and i hope that you guys keep supporting me you keep loving me the same way and you keep watching my videos mm. 
you know what a couple of you well quite a few of you people came up to me and said you know it takes a lot to be able to do something like this and you know what it does i'm not gonna lie it really does and to me it just it seems so easy but i try to see myself like in somebody else's shoes looking at me and it, yeah it is something pretty tough and I really appreciate that like it, it pushes me and it motivates me a lot more when I hear people like you guys uh, supporting me next week so a week from tomorrow I'll be having my second shot I'm um, gonna go to my end endo endocrinologist to uh, have them do it again until I feel comfortable doing it myself uh, I don't think my sister is ready to be injecting my butt <laughs> Um, so I'm just, cause I, I brought it up to her attention, like, yeah, you know, you might have to do it every once in a while if you're cool with it. She kind of looked at me like weird, and it's not the fact that it's my butt, cause me and my sister are pretty close. It's, I think it's the idea of, she doesn't like working with needles. <laughs> so I'm just not gonna put her in that position yet. Um, Jackie, my cousin Jackie, for, she said she was down, but that's just, she's something else, I swear um yeah so it's mm, basically it thank you guys love you guys and keep supporting me and loving me and talking to me and all that shit you know what i mean all right see ya